The topic of our work is dynamometry on the BIOPAC device. Dynamometry is the measurement of force and the graphical record obtained by using a dynamometer is called a dynamogram. By force is meant the amount of work done per seal of time. The BIOPAC system will simultaneously record three bands of information. The force that the sensor registers, the electrical signal sent by muscle during contraction, integrated curve, which is an indicator of muscle activity levels. Let's get to work. You need to turn on the computer and enter the password, then you need to open the program BIOPAC Students Lab. Before starting work, you must select the lesson Electromyography 2 enter the file name. Before you can do the calibration, you need to stick the electrodes and connect to wires on the dominant hand. We connect the electrodes as follows. The upper part of the forearm is white electrode, the inner part of the wrist closer to the thumb is red electrode, on the wrist is a black electrode. Starting calibration. Wait about 2 seconds, then squeeze hands dynamometer as hard as possible. Then realize and relax your hands. At the end of the 8 seconds calibration recording process, the screen should be similar to the following picture. After calibration, we'll start recording the data. To do this, we need to register two segments for each forearm. Segment 1 registers replenishment of motor units. Segment 2 registers fatigue. Starting with the segments number 1. Based on the maximum compression force, due to calibration, the program determines the optimal display grid and the force gain. The display grid is set as follows. Next, click the record button and proceed the data registration. Repeat the squeeze relax weight cycle until you reach the maximum compression force. Next, click the sun spend button. If everyone was done correctly, your data should look like a drawing. Next, click the red button to start recording the second segment. Click the resume button. Squeeze the manual dynamometry with the maximum force when the compression force displayed on the screen decreases more than 50%. Press suspend. Repeat the procedure several times. Next, you need to press the red button and ask the patient to relax to give the arm muscles a rest. Disconnect the clips, peel off and discard the electrodes. Use soap and water to wash off any electrode gel residue from your skin. After using the electrodes, traces may remain on the skin for several hours, which is perfectly normal. You will need a small flash drive up to 4 GB to transfer data files. Insert into the slot and transfer the file to the USB flash drive. You need to click on the file and click on the copy button. Open the USB flash drive and click on the pass button to save the file. Important. When transferring a file, use only this function. You don't need to clamp with the mouse and transfer, but use copy pass in order to save all the data. After finishing work, turn off your computer and head to the study room. Analyzing data To the first part of analysis, select a file with the data recorded by the patient dominant forearm. Forearm 1, say with the examination 1L02. Before starting to fill out the protocol, fill in the student's name, data, patient information, name, age, dominant hand, right or left. Read the journal and note your strain gain in your measurements. The log summary records the strain set for your log. It is also the division of the grid. Record this value in table number 1 in the first column. Specified gains in strains, kilograms, for subsequent peaks at the amount of the gain, for example 5, 10, 15 kilograms or 10, 20, 30 kilograms. Set the measurement graphs as follows, CH1 mean, CH3, CH40 mean, measurements buttons allocated above the marking area in the data window. 
Using the eye shift cursor, select the horizontal area of the first compression on the graph. The numbers for your table will appear to the top. Record them in the peak force raw EMG integrated EMG columns. Repeat the step for the horizontal section of the each subsequent compression complete the table. Go to the second segment of the recording. The second registration segment starts after the first marking and reflects continuous compression with the maximum force. Set the measurements button as follows CH1 value, CH4 to delta 10. Magnitude displays the magnitude of the EMG signal amplitude at the moment highlighted with the eye shaped cursor. Delta 10 reflects the time accent of the selected segment difference in time between the extreme point of the selected area. Using the eye-shaped cursor, select the point with the maximum compression force immediately following the start of segment 2. The selected point should reflect the maximum compression forms at the beginning of the segment 2. Calculate 50% of the maximum compression force. Use the eye cursor to find point with a squeeze force of 50% of maximum and leave the cursor at the point. Pick a point by eye that responds a squeeze force of approximately 50% of maximum. Then, with the eye cursor, click the on points in the area, paying attention to the value displayed in the measurement graph until you reach a point with a compression force of 50% of the maximum. Leave the cursor at the point. Select the area from the point with 50% compression force from the maximum to the point with the maximum compression force using the eye cursor. Remember the amount of the time for fatigue CH 40 delta T delta T method of selecting the area. The cursor should blink at the point with a compression forms of 50% of the maximum while holding down the mouse button. Move the mouse to the left to this point until you reach the point with the maximum compression force when the realize the mouse button record the results of the data in the third column time of fatigue. Save or print the data file. Repeat the entry analysis of the data for the second forum in the same sequence and fill in the rest of the table. Complete protocol and hand it over to the teacher. As a result, the table should look like this. Do everything sequentially and you will succeed. After filling out the table, you need to answer the questions and draw a conclusion. Good luck!